just uh, wanted to let you know that you're closer than you think. You're actually a lot closer. You don't need to be a scientist or some detective to figure out. There's caffeine-free everything else. Don't you find it just a little bit odd that there's no caffeine-free Dr. Pepper? I mean, think about it. Coke, caffeine-free version. Pepsi, caffeine-free version. Hell, even root beer doesn't have caffeine in it. So why would Dr. Pepper not? So have you ever bothered to look at any of those, like, best-selling soda charts over the years? Uh, no. Well, that would explain a lot. I mean, you see people drinking Dr. Pepper a lot. How can Dr. Pepper be so popular and so consistent? Heck, it's even the first soda, and yet it's not in the top five. You really have no idea how deep this stuff goes. I mean, senators, lawyers, judges, everyone's in on this. There's been a huge movement for at least 100 years to cover this stuff up. I would know. I saw this firsthand. I saw executives arguing over it all the time. Sure, you tell them what the 23 flavors are, but don't tell me why there's caffeine-free Dr. Pepper listed on the coupons. I mean, don't you think that a company executive would be smart enough not to mention caffeine-free Dr. Pepper on every coupon in every box if, it, if they were trying to cover it up, or if it didn't exist even? Well, if, I, if I could get like some kind of case going, could you testify? <laughs> nah, I'm not testifying. No. They'll kill me, or at the very least, ruin my credibility. And they'll try to ruin your credibility, too. You should watch out for that. But you're still closer than anybody's been since longer than I can remember. You shouldn't give up on this. I mean, once you start getting the wheels in motion, this thing will spiral out of control. People will start coming out of the woodwork testifying. All you got to do is stir up a shitstorm, and then the rest will take care of itself. People are fundamentally, fundamentally, they're suckers for the truth. Always remember that. Thanks. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Wade Alderton, and I, like you, hopefully, yearn wholeheartedly for the knowledge that the governments in league sleep under the seedy carpet of society. What I have for you today is irrefutable evidence of the existence of caffeine-free Dr. Pepper. This, this, my good people, is a plaster cast a caffeine-free Dr. Pepper can, which in wild would look like this based on this artist's representation. See the yellow golden sheen? Caffeine-free Dr. Pepper logo. This, my people, this is evidence of something spectacular, shocking even. Here we have irrefutable photographic evidence of Pepperfoot. The beast, the monster, the monstrosity that stalked. Police! Free. No! No! You're coming with us! You, you don't handle the truth! You can't handle Alright, I think we're gonna have to go to where it all originated. What? I, I think we're gonna have to go where Dr. Pepper was uh, discovered. But then, that, that's too far away. I mean. It's not too far away. This is important, all right? It's Monday and Bonanza, Bonanza Marathon's on. I, I don't care anymore. You know, we're going to Waco, Texas. Dan, there's nothing out here, just trees. The GTS says that a Dr. Pepper factory should be here. I don't see anything. Wait, it's out. There's a guard over there. What do you think he's guarding? Dr. Pepper factory? This doesn't look like where Dr. Pepper would have been invented. I don't see anyone around. There should be a big building or something. Do you see that? What the hell is that? A tower? Aquafina? Let's go over there. Alright. <laughs> 